August the third, today's wisdom. It shall be a health to thy navel. It shall be a health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Proverbs three eight. This verse is linked to the preceding ones, Proverbs three five to seven, in which the wise parent is talking to his son about one of the fundamental values he should take hold of following the other members of the family, the intimacy with God. In this verse, the wise parent puts himself in the shoe of a medical doctor and reveals to his son one of the immediate impacts of such a value on life, the health of the body. How can intimacy with God decisively impact on the health of an individual? In the beginning, Adam and Eve were created perfect and were living in a perfect intimacy with God. This means that it is because of the fall that diseases surfaced. This said, it is vital to always bear in mind the origin of all the diseases, sin. In the Old Covenant, disease and sin were linked. Today, the impact of negative emotions on the organs of the body such as the stomach, the digestive system, the heart, the lungs and the brain is scientifically proved. Whatever the quality of our diet, of a sustained sport practice and a sufficient sleep, shame, guilt, fear, stress, the lack of forgiveness are sufficient enough to affect or asphyxiate the cells of our body, thus weakening all the immune system. There is a disease that no medicine, no treatment can heal, sin. A true intimacy with God procures not only forgiveness and joy but also self-control, which gives us the ability to abstain ourselves from taking substances or any other thing we are allergic to or which makes us dependent and drives our body sick sugar white flour salt alcohol candies addictive substances objects activities etc we could then devote ourselves to what is really useful for the health of our body water sleep fruits vegetables sports etc Daniel and his companion in their youth because of their intimacy with God chose to eat only vegetables and to drink only water during their three years training in Babylon instead of the king's large meal and wine proposed to them. This had a visible impact on their health, physical being and in their spiritual life. Daniel 1 8, 16. Jesus says, And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you three. John 8.32 Believing themselves to be righteous, the Jews did not understand that Jesus was pointing at the real problem, which is sin, and that him alone had the power to set them free. Truth Jesus alone and nothing else is the only medicine that cures durably and definitely the sin disease. Applications 1. To believe that without Jesus, I'm dead though living and active. 2. To believe that Jesus died for all my sins. Three. To believe that Jesus rose from the dead for my justification. 4. To ask for forgiveness and forgive my neighbor. 5. To eat, digest and practice what is healthy and useful for my spirit, my soul and body. Recommendation. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. James 5.16 Let's pray together. Father, forgive me all my sins. I receive from the bruises of your son at the cross the healing of all diseases. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's reading, Psalm 11 to 15, Proverbs 3, Ezekiel 25 to 27. You are blessed.